Hey guys, it's Shakespeare. I'm here. I'm about to another video, and today in this video, I am going to be showing you how to change your channel art. Now, guys, I'm sorry I haven't posted uh, a video in a little while. That's because at school has been so crazy, but hopefully this will be uploaded ASAP. So today I will be showing you how to change your channel banner, which is pretty much this, like the green stuff, my character, the words right here, not the square, just this. So the first step you're going to want to do is click on this little pencil up here, and then you're going to hit edit channel art. Don't worry, this won't do anything to your current channel art if you have any. Uh, it'll just do pop up, pop up with this screen. So you're going to go down here, it's going to say how to create channel art. You're just going to click on that, and it'll take you to a new link. This is what it should look like. It might look different if this is on a later date. I don't know. But uh, you guys are just going to want to scroll down to the bottom here, and it's going to say right here, channel art templates. You're just going to click that, and it's just going to... Uh, uh, open this untitled thing you can just exit out of that and then in your downloads you should see that it has a folder uh, I'm just gonna drag that onto my desktop screen keep that there for now and uh, if you're using Windows or anything else uh, it would the downloads would be in the bottom part I almost pointed in my at my screen in real life <laughs> but uh, you would see it down here and uh, you can also just save to downloads and then drag it onto your desktop so now what you're gonna do is you can actually use this tab it doesn't matter this doesn't matter anymore you're gonna want to go to pick monkey wait hold on dot com alright guys so you're gonna go to pick monkey dot com now sorry if you guys about that weird cut something happened but you're gonna go to pick monkey dot com right and then you're gonna hit edit you're gonna click on edit and then you're gonna hit channel art templates then the only one that works here this is what was on your desktop there uh, the only one that's gonna work is the PNG one so you're gonna just click that choose and then pick monkey should open up the screen right here now this is what this is like the template for what your channel art will look like on a TV a desktop max tablet desktop minimum and mobile phone or device so this is the area where you're going to want to mainly design it but then outside is where you're gonna put the whole background so I'll show you that right now so what you're gonna want to do is open up a new tab and be on Google uh, if mine already takes me to Google and you're gonna want to search a cool looking background so I'm just gonna search space and you want to go images and then uh, there's like a whole selection of images. It really doesn't matter which image. Uh, let's do this one. I like this one. So you can just drag that onto your desktop. I don't care. It doesn't matter where it goes on your desktop screen. It just has to be somewhere there. So you're going to go back to Pick Monkey. You can leave Google open for now because you're going to go back to that. And then what you're going to want to do is go to the butterfly right here and hit your own and then this should pop up you're gonna go to your desktop wherever that is on your side left uh, tabs and then you're going to want to go to uh, where is it here right here you're gonna hit the background and hit open now that should open up here now you're just gonna want to drag this up to the top and you're gonna leave that there for now because you'll want that uh, you want to be able to see this darker gray, like really dark gray area until at the end, then you put the background. So what you're going to do now is you're going to want to go to textcraft.net. Uh, the link will be in the description. And so uh, you can put whatever your logo is, whatever you want to do. So you're just going to, uh, mine is this, Jake Storm Gaming. And then you can like choose different things here. So like if I want it to be like the Minecraft looking text, I can make it like that. Um, if I don't want it to be 3D, I can make it like that. And then that I'm going to keep like that. So again, you're going to drag that onto your desktop screen as so. And then go back to Pick Monkey and hit your own again. Make sure you're in overlays, not something else. 
and then we're gonna go back to desktop and hit the find the text wherever that is find that and hit open so right now uh, as you can see that now opened up so what you're gonna want to do is you're just gonna drag this smaller and put it wherever you want onto the banner screen so I'm just gonna make that a tiny bit bigger put that right there and there we go Jake Star Gaming now you can make that as big as you want you just want to make sure that's not outside the desktop minimum and mobile era area you don't want to make it outside the area and that is because uh, it'll, it won't look good on the mobile but when it's inside the dark gray area even though it's smaller than the tablet the desktop max and the TV it's still gonna look good when it's like that, it's just not going to look as big on the other ones. But that is still a good one to keep like that. Alright, so now you can just keep it just like that. And then uh, what you're going to want to do now is if you want to put your Minecraft character or if you want to put... It, like, this is the same process. If you want to put, like, say, a creeper, you would just take the creeper, put it onto your desktop, go back to Pick Monkey, and hit your own. And that's and then you can move it around and you can make it smaller and bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Minecraft player. So I'm just gonna go to Nova Skin, uh, Minecraft Nova Skin dot me, and uh, I already have my skin here. I can just like turn it a little bit. Uh, I can have it waving if I wanted to. Uh, here. There we go. Have it waving. Now, guys, I'm not actually going to change my. Uh, background I'm not gonna actually change the banner because I like it how it is right now but I will show you uh, how that step also works so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna hit photo you're going to right click uh, anywhere on this like white box in the middle here and you're gonna hit save image ads now you're gonna name this as whatever you want so uh, me skin you can name this whatever you want it does not matter they're going to want to put that onto your desktop and hit save or whatever your thing is to put it on there. Then you're going to hit the X right here. And then what you're going to do is go back to PicMonkey, hit your own again, desktop, and then it should be right there. Open. And then that should load. You can make it smaller. Just make sure it fits inside the dark, dark gray area. And there you go. So you also have your skin there. Now, guys, this is just a very simple banner, but you can make it more elaborate and more advanced. This is just the same step over and over again. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your background and you're going to make it as wide as you can on the TV area. Uh, that looks a little blurry. Uh, all right. Well, guys, I'm just going to make it like that. But you can get a better picture since this one doesn't stretch out that well and still look good. Sometimes that does happen with pictures. But I'm just going to keep it like that for now. I don't care if it's blurry. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit save. Now this should take you to this screen here. Now you can name this wherever you want. So I'm just going to name it YouTube Better. Uh, YouTube Better. That's good. And then you're going to want to save it as .png okay and then you're gonna hit this is like the quality Roger is the worst quality crop eh. quality Pierce is middle good okay quality and then scene is the best uh, best usually I hit scene because it doesn't it doesn't like take up a lot of space it's only an age of 6.5 kilobytes at kilobytes and that is nothing that is less than megabytes so you're just gonna make it scene or is that scene shot? I don't know what that is. I Sean. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, then you're gonna hit to save to my computer, and then you can make sure the dot png is at the end of it. But you can change it to whatever you want, and then you're gonna save it to desktop, and save. So after that saves, uh, it should be saved. Yep, right there. Uh, I can open it right now if I wanted to. There it is. And then what you're going to do now is you're going to want to go onto your YouTube. Hello. Onto your YouTube. 
and then uh, back to the screen here. Uh, if you don't know how to get to here again, all you have all you have to do is you go to the little pencil here and you hit Edit Channel Art. And then you're go now. What you guys are gonna do is you're gonna hit select a photo from your computer. Now desktop, if it's not selected on it already, and then YouTube banner or whatever you called it, choose, and then that should upload right there. Now uh, you can see. I'm just gonna zoom in for you guys. As you guys can see, uh, that is what it'll look like. Oh. Uh. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Uh, okay, Zoom isn't going to work with us. Yeah, so as you guys can see right there, uh, that's what it will look like on the desktop uh, mobile, which looks perfect on the mobile because we made it perfectly in that gray box. And then this is what it would look like on the TV. And then you can also, if you want to, if you really need to, you can adjust it to the crop. But this literally is the worst cropping I have ever seen. So you don't really have to use that. And then what you're going to do is hit select. And then uh, you can hit cancel right there. And as you can see, your channel should have changed. Now this is what it'll look like. Now it is blurry because the background is blurry. But that would be fixed in your own background and so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and in the comments i would love for anybody to write down if you want me to do a tutorial on something else that you don't know or you just want me to do to, to do a tutorial on it wow that's a tongue twister leave it in the comments and i'll make sure that i do it so see you guys all next time bye